Hi, I'm Billy. Hi, I'm Abby. And we're ranking the best LGBT characters on Glee. So first up, we have Kurt Hummel. Kurt Hummel, iconic. I think the like the face of gayness LGBT on me. Glee. So he's the first gay character we meet. We meet him episode one. Yeah, but he's not out at first. I don't want to lie anymore. I'm gay. But like by episode he three, he is. He's gay. What's your most iconic? thing that you remember about Kurt? Um, I think I remember when Mercedes smashed his car because she thought that he was going to be her boyfriend. He goes, oh my god, you busted my car. And she like, goes, you, you busted, busted my car. I think mine is single ladies. His dad walks in and he's like, <gasps> yeah. which one of you is his girlfriend? And then he pretended to be girlfriends with Britney. It's Britney, bitch. Britney S. Pierce. She was a cheerleader. She was just Santana for ages and it was like super secret. I think it's nice as well because she doesn't really struggle with her sexuality. She's just bi. Just yeah. Seen. What was your most iconic Britney scene? Mine was the Britney Spears episode where she did um, Me Against the Music with yeah. Santana. Hot. And she did Slave For You. Yeah, That's because at hot. first she hated Britney because she has the same name as Britney yeah. and she was like tired of the comparison. Okay, Santana she's my favourite. Um, she was hot. She was hot. She was talented, she could dance. And I think she was really great to Britney, you know? Yeah, she, she really like, loved Britney. It was she, nice. That was like her one thing was that she really liked Britney. It's the only person that she really liked. Yeah, they got married at the end. So the next one is Dave Karofsky, the school bully. He was gay, he was a self-hating homo. Yes. So he was bullying. He took it out on Kurt. He that he was gay and then kissed Kurt. Yeah. Um, he like pushed him up against the, he was like beating him up. Then he like cut like hit him. Then they like kissed. Do you think that's true that like most of like people who bully people for being gay are gay? Probably, yeah. I think everyone's gay. Unique Adams. Unique Adams. She was kind of like a later season one. Yeah, she was um, the show's first transgender character. Yeah, but I don't think she was. Tr we didn't know she was trans at first, and then no. she comes out as trans, yeah. and we get to see her on her journey. And like uh, trans one of the storylines that she's in love with this boy, but doesn't know if he will like her, so she like. Oh yeah, she catfished yeah, someone. I don't think that's her, like... Like, she didn't know if he would like her, so she catfishes him. I don't rate that as a move. It's not cool to catfish, either. Her storyline was like lovely, and everyone was really like warm to her. Yeah. It was nice. Coach Beast. Who we meet in season two. Is the first trans man. Yes, so we don't meet him in the trans man. He transitions later on in the show. Yes. Uh, what do you think of Coach Beast? I think he gets points for being one of the first trans men I've seen Take on it. TV. Yeah. Um, I don't think there was a lot memorable about the character besides he was kind of like a bit peripheral he was, from the main crew. He was crew. picked on a lot. Yeah. He transitioned. And people thought he was mean, but he had like a really soft heart. Yeah, I think he was like just picked on. <gasps> Blaine. Blaine Anderson. So, oh, I'm blushing. Oh. <laughs> so the next character is Blaine Anderson. Um, one of my favourites. So we meet him when he's part of the Dalton Academy Warblers. The Warblers, um, oh. And he was a great character. He had really like pristine hair, like really good uniform. He was beautiful. Very gay. Yeah. Um, and he actually dates Kurt. Yeah. Um, and they're cute. And he sings like really good songs. Actually, Kurt and Blaine were my favourite couple. Really? I really liked them as a couple. I thought they were really cute. So the next character is Sebastian, Sebastian Smith. Smith. He was like the evil one in the Warblers once Blaine left. He was like the head top dog. Yeah, he was always like stirring shit, trying to sabotage I, them. I can appreciate shit stirring. Yeah. So Rachel's dads. Rachel's dads, plural. This one's crazy because do you remember in the first episode, one was black? Yeah. And then they replaced the black one with Jeff Goldblum. Yes. But I don't know how I feel about um, that. One of my memories of her parents, the first time we meet them actually, yeah. is when they have like a dinner party and they're like round the piano. Oh and like yeah. Singing. And you can really see the weird like pushy parent dynamic. Yeah, you can see like where Rachel came from. You know from. when Rachel puts stars next to her name? Yeah. You can see that like her, when her parents look at her they see stars. It's like you, you did this. Yeah. <laughs> you made this, this creation. Yeah. So honorary mention. Sue Sylvester. Who is the gayest character in gay. Yeah, the gayest non-gay character. Matching tracksuits every day, lesbian. Also, she married herself, which is marrying a woman. Power move. So. Which makes her gay. Yeah, she's gay. So and that's gay. how Sue sees, sees it. it. That's probably that's her most Sue iconic line. Sees it. And I really like the Madonna bit, you know, in the episode of Madonna. Yeah. Like she, oh my God. 
hot. I would go back and rewatch the episode. I remember that Mod Madonna she episode. Is beautiful. I think that changed my life. Um, I actually had one of the songs smiling tones for like three years. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a comment, let us know what your favourite Glee moment was. And subscribe for more videos like this.